The experience with Buddy Carter is, as that was my graduate school. That's my, I will always say that's my graduate school. That's my jazz boot camp, or that's the, you know, uh, there's a lot of things that I've learned from many people, but I will cite Betty Carter often and gladly because um, there's it, it's so many practical things that she said. Certain things like, the first thing she says, uh, you have to think. Um, the way how I operate today musically in many ways is due to her encouragement. Um, one day, um, I was playing, and I don't want to get all long drawn. I'll be here forever all day. <laughs> um, I was playing um, by, no, If I Were a Bell, If I Were a Bell, at uh, Kimball's East in Emeryville, Cal Emeryville, California. And I did it the way of all of Miles Davis, you know, bing, boom, bing, boom, the whole thing, just exactly. I thought I did something great. And when she got on the stage, because with the trio always played before she came on, when I got on the stage, she gave me this look, and if looks would kill, we would not be having this conversation right now. Uh, she, that, that set, I couldn't play anything right. She told me playing C, I play a C that was wrong. I couldn't even breathe right. And afterwards, the set, she hollered, chestnut getting here. So I was like, oh gosh, what did I do? So to, to really um, tell, get, get to the point, she basically said to me, I don't have you here to play something I heard before. I said, this music is about thinking. I know this, I know what you played better than you. I was there. So I said, I don't need you to play something I've already heard before. You know, you're here to think. You are here to think. And so from that conversation, it, it was, there was a shift. There's a shift, and to this day, I find myself hearing the voice of Betty often if I'm playing, and if I'm starting to go on automatic, I'm hearing her verse. I'm hearing her voice saying, "Come on, come on, Chestnut, think. You played that before. I don't need to hear that again." <laughs>